Okay, so this is lesson 6.2, the guided practice. Let's get started. The table shows the average temperature in Bar Barrow, Alaska for three months during one year. Okay, let me bring that table out here. And here's our table. How many degrees warmer is the average temperature in November than January? Let's write an equation. That's our first step. And we're going to let X represent, I'll put it in red here, the number of degrees warmer. The average temperature was. And was in January or, or in uh, November uh, then January. Let's say Jan. Okay. So what we can do is we could take our our X. So how many degrees warmer was it? And then we have to add our uh, well. Well, I think perhaps, I think of it as we're starting in January, which is negative 13.4. And then we're adding some degrees to make it warmer. And then it ended up in January, I'm sorry, in November, it was warmer. It was negative 1.7 degrees, which is still pretty cold. <laughs> now, adding a negative is the same thing as just subtraction. We learned that chapters ago. So instead of plus negative 13.4, we'll just call it minus 13.4. And that has to equal the same negative 1.7 degrees in November. So we're going to solve the equation and we're going to show our work right here. And so that would be x minus 13.4 equals negative 1.7. And uh, we have to use our inverse operations. So the inverse of subtraction is addition. So I will add 13.4 to both sides of the equal sign, and x is equal to. Now, this is negative, this is positive. When they're different signs, you have to subtract, you have to subtract them. But for a moment, we have to put 13.4 on top. So 13.4 minus 1.7, that's 14, that's 7, this is 2 now, 1, 11.7, that's it, 11.7. So it is 11.7 degrees Fahrenheit warmer in November than in January. All right, here we have number 2. Suppose that during one period of extreme cold, the average daily temperature increased by, uh, decreased by one and a half degrees Fahrenheit each day. How many days did it take for the temperature to decrease by nine degrees Fahrenheit? So we're going to write an equation, and x is going to be, uh, it's going to represent how many days it took for the temperature to decrease 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have our 1.5 here, and I'll write 1.5, but it decreases, it decreases each day, so we have to call it negative 1.5. And uh, and then in the end, it decreased by 9 degrees, so we, it decreased, that's negative, 9 degrees. So we're going to solve this equation, and we do so. Uh, I'm going to write it here, negative 1 and 1 half times x is equal to negative 9. I'm going to turn this 1 and a half into a mixed number. You have to multiply 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1 is 3. So we have 3 halves x, and it's negative. So you can put this negative on the top, middle, bottom. Uh, I think it'd be good for us to put it on the bottom. 
and that's equals to nine, negative nine. Now to solve this, let's multiply by the reciprocal. Uh, that's negative two over three. And I have to do that on both sides. These all cancel. That's what you're going for. And you have x all alone. And we have to multiply negative nine times negative two thirds. Now first off, negative times negative is positive. So our answer is positive. And then nine times two is 18 and it's over three. So it's 18 over three. Then 18 divided by three is six. So it took six days for the temperature to decrease by nine degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we have this. It, use inverse operations. I'm going to write this right here. Negative 2x is equal to 34. Okay. Uh, so the operation we see is multiplication. So we divide. Divide by the exact same number. Negative 2. These cancel. And x is equal to 34 divided by negative 2, which is negative 17. Next, number four, we have this. I'm going to squeeze this in over here. We have y minus 3.5 is equal to negative 2.1. And the operation I see with the variable is subtraction, so the inverse is addition. So I add 3.5 to both sides of the equal sign. Uh, y equals, and once again, these are different signs here. You have to subtract them. And you got to make sure that the 3.5, the bigger number, is on top. Minus 2.1, that's 4. This is 1. So it's 1.4. And it's positive because we have more positives than negatives. Okay, so y is equal to 1.4. Okay, now we have this one, number 5. And I will bring that problem over here. And like we did earlier, uh, we will multiply by the reciprocal. So when you see a fraction like that times that, we can multiply by the reciprocal, which is 3 halves. And I'll multiply this side by 3 halves. And these all cross cancel. Super. This z is equal to. And, and when you multiply these, you can just take top times top right here. So negative, negative 6 times 3 is negative 18 divided by 2, and negative 18 divided by 2 is negative 9, so z is equal to negative 9. z is equal to negative 9. And then our last one here, how does writing an equation help you solve a problem? Well, it helps. Uh, it helps me describe the problem. Uh, precisely, which means exactly, and solve it, that was our bell, using inverse operations. And there you go. That's what you got to know about the guided practice. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.